So here we are. Two days out. Two days out. Routine remains the same. With the only changes, the morning walk is just a little bit shorter. So a little 10 minute walk and then get back, do some more pictures, more posing. A little bit of client work. Meal one. And then I've got to go and pick our Sainsbury's shopping up before we go. So we're actually going to train after meal two today and set straight down to Birmingham, settle in and just relax and unwind. Definitely best I've looked. Um, running a little bit higher day today as it's needed. So again, we'll show you all the meals today. 250 protein, 800 carb and 70 fats as I've actually been increasing my food incrementally with the line here load and if anything I've just been getting tighter been dropping water and just been getting better um, so the peak for me started on Tuesday but today we need to be a little bit more aggressive as there's a lot more room for me to fill up and get fuller so that's exactly the plan uh, Meg is also having a little bit more food today as well she looks tremendous best she's been very tight very full so yeah very happy just need to get the job done now and yeah it's game time so happy days my people almost there whoop whoop pardon me pick up Sainsbury's so client work is done almost no doubt there were some stragglers that are waking up late that probably need replying to but I have to wait if they're late so we're going to pick shopping up that we have ordered um, just so we can get to Birmingham and just be stress free and relax here we go Right, get my belly done, get after it. Training with the wife today. I do love training with her until I turn into a dickhead. But now on a serious note, I do love training with Meg, so happy days. Last session before show day, so nothing spectacular, but we're still gonna get shit done. Like I said, I don't back off totally but it's probably 50% what I'd normally do. In terms of training volume, I'm definitely backing off from the training intensity as well, which is key at this point. So, yeah. The goal is not to drive yourself into a massive hole that you cannot come out of. So we'll train, then we'll probably do some pictures in the posing room and that's that yeah <clears throat> Stand. Down and in. Lean right into it. Lean right into it. There, there, there. Control pause. Now drive. Extend this way to here. This stays fixed. Now go on. Stretch, stretch, stretch. More, more, more. Pause. Now drive. Drop weight.
lean into it, body weight on the same side leg as arm you're working with, extend, that's it, yes, exactly there, Anne. exactly there, one of my men's physique prodigies is going to be fucking insane. Just so we don't have to lob tights on. Uh, two sets on there. One set here. Two sets on upper back prime row. Um, two sets on the cast pull down. Upper back. One set of single arm row. Two sets of your delt. Two sets of bicep done. All right. Backing lovely. Let's go. It's to do with this. Think about what happens when you lean forward and cables up above you. It's impossible for you to actually hit your lat because you. You don't have the ability to do that, do you know what I mean? So, always have a slight lean back, like a 10 degree, do you know what I mean? But still, don't lean back and extend, still keep it tucked, do you know what I mean? Put it on there, 75 please. Have you moved here? No. Have you moved here? Oh. You need to move then, don't you? You need to move. What's first? Yeah.
in a year, if you'd seen my back last year, it, it don't even look the same. No, from the back, like a different person. Here we go. A shot then. You mad bastard. Seat down please. Seat down please. Seat down to four please. Awesome. Elbows forward a little bit more. That's better. Come on. Good. Come on. Lots more left. Come on. Yes, come on, Meg. On it. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh yeah, it's a fucking deload. <laughs> Don't take it all the way. Meal number three today, post work meal. Trained a little bit earlier. Wasn't too bad. But again, get this down and then we're gonna get on the road. Uh, I'm not sure what the ETA is from here. I think it's like an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah, so not long. So eat this, which is 150 grams of cream of rice, 30 grams of whey, 100 grams of banana. Um, eat this, get back, eat more, chill, relax. That's it, job is almost finished. Chilling now, we've got two meals to go. And then it's bedtime. I think uh, we'll have to do MTV Cribs, what do you reckon, Carl? Yeah, we're gonna have to. It's unreal. Be rude not to. Honestly, Meg's done amazing with this. Um, did we bring camera? No. Oh. Can we vlog on those phones and post on Your, YouTube? Yours is MK. Is it? Okay. Is that MK? Sorry. Oh. So, I've, uh, I'll let you in a secret. I've never in my life organised something for someone. Ever. Ever. Never in my life have I, like, you know, gone out, gone out all in and, like, arranged stuff. So, I dropped uh, a bit of a bollock, to be honest, because... I was stood in the living room showing Meg like new boxes she bought me and uh, it was meant to be a surprise that I'm taking her to London but then I was like make sure you pack these boxes to London for me because I, generally I, I never wear any underwear but obviously I'm going to wear underwear for her because she likes me in underwear so as soon as I said it she just looked at me and said well I know where I'm going now so I can tell you where she's going but she doesn't know what we are doing and what's arranged and what's booked. So I'm going to film more so her reaction. Uh, I think that would be quite cool just for me. And I'm, I might post it if she wants to. But I'm going to film the reaction and uh, see what the crack is. It's, uh, I hope she likes it because I've made a lot of effort. With everything that's planned, so it's gonna be good. It's like there's a lot of things that she likes that have kind of boxed off, so it should be good. And I hate going away and I hate stopping away from home, and I've booked two nights away, so that is a, <laughs> a massive achievement for me. It's like last time we actually went away somewhere, we actually came back home early because I was like, Yeah, this is shit. 
And the thing is, Meg, thing is, she loves London and she loves exploring London as well. So I'm going to make sure we spend, you know, all our time there. I couldn't live there, do I know, but we'll make sure that we spend our time there walking around and actually seeing everything. Getting a sipsy. Yeah. Probably end up coming back and losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Carl, what do you want? I'm not ass. I'm not watching it. Why don't you put your power on? But it's on force, it's not on a thing. It's on Netflix? It's on Prime. It's on, it's it's on Stars, it? it? but what you do is you. I do uh, why does it not work for me? <coughs> do you want to watch that or do you want to watch a film? I don't mind, I don't care. He does care, and he didn't want to tell me. He wants to watch a film. I don't care. It might not work. Just put a film on, because I want to watch, I want to watch that force together, all that, actually. No, it's because, right, we've got, we've got a little routine going, right? I put my phone away, Put everything away, and the last hour of the day, we just sit together and watch her favourite program. So I kind of want to keep that. So the Rings of Power is really good. If you want to start that from the start, I'm happy to watch that from the start. No, I'm not sure. What what genre? We can watch that Rings of Power. I thought you'd already watched it. Yeah, but you haven't, so we can start watching that as well. You don't want to. You'll not watch it. I will. Welcome to our humble abode. We are still yet awaiting for the giant. So it's just myself, the wife and Carl. Come on in. Let's uh, show you my crib. Right. This is a little, I'm not sure what this is. I think first we'll start with the first of the living rooms. This is where the wife is residing. Oh, oh, this, is oh, this is the hallway. That's the one. Right. Let's go for me. The wife sat there, extremely vascular. As you can see, the forearms and the calves looking tremendous. So let's go. We'll show you the second living room. And then we shall show you my, my quarters. So as you walk through here, I think the, I think the floor is, uh, is squeaking. The floor must be squeaking. Squirrel on the like okay. <laughs> The floor is squeaking. Anyway, these are my quarters and my quarters alone. As uh, right now, we're both super restless, so I actually sleep in separate beds. Anyone who's prepping together knows the crack. This is my little bathroom. This is my little uh, lounge for when I want to uh, pretend uh, I'm a Roman gladiator after his battle. I'll, I'll have like a little olive lounge on here. This is uh, the bedroom. This is where no magic happens at all. Not right now anyway. And as you can see, Meg has made that bed. She knows exactly how I like to sleep. So she knows exactly how I need to sleep and how I like to sleep. So she's uh, made that perfectly. The middle pillow is actually to go between my legs and the pillows at the side are to hug, well, hug and, and hold on to. Anyway, this is uh, my quarters. Let's go and show you the kitchen. My favourite part, favourite part of any house for me is the kitchen. The next house that I actually moved to is basically going to be a massive kitchen because that's where we kind of spend all our time and that is what we do what we enjoy, we enjoy cooking, we enjoy cooking for each other and spending time in the kitchen. So let's go. As you can see, plenty of water, all the kitchen appliances, all the supplements, all the bits, everything that, everything that a bodybuilder may need. Even went and bought a pan. Coffees for tomorrow, again, essential. We will get some fresh coffees for the show day. 
Um, and again, our own utensils, obviously, brought from home. Food, we'll show you the fridge as well, as uh, I like to show you how prepared we always are. The fridge is looking tremendous. Obviously, the lure pack and the crap here is Carl's, but this is ours. The lure pack's actually not Obviously, there. all the good stuff, like the venison, the turkey, egg whites, prawns, the veggies, rice, all the kind of veggies, etc. that's all ours. Um, so, the reason why I brought all this is, yeah, like after the show we are going to meal prep. I do have things planned, but, you know, post-show is not the time. I don't even know what this is, what it actually is in here. Uh, oh, glasses, perfect. Ooh, that's actually ideal for the coffees. Anyway, the reason why we've got all the food is... Post show, me and Meg don't really eat any shit, um, as I like to call it bluntly. We don't have any treats. We've not even thought about any treats really. Um, however, I have booked special surprises. So, I've booked London and I've booked some of the best recommendations from our friends. And someone has actually helped me book everything so she can't see. I'm actually booked. So, our PA that works for us at the gym. You can hear me here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, our PA that works for us at the gym, she's actually helped me book everything so she can't see exactly where she's going. But basically, I've never planned anything for anyone. So, I've basically got our breakfast planned, like a, a midday lunch and an evening meal for Monday and Tuesday, and then a, a breakfast spot that she will love on Wednesday morning before we head home. So, obviously that's gonna be three meals that we'll eat, which will probably be like a thousand calorie each. And on top of that, we'll probably have like a pro and a veggie meal. So, again, that's exactly why we've got the meals here, because we are gonna meal prep, so that we don't just kind of eat total garbage. Like we never eat crap anyway, but the fact of the matter is, we kind of need to, and want to be sensible anyway. So our choices for our food are always pretty sensible. So you might actually get to see a bit of a vlog to see how we actually handle it and how we approach it, which will be quite epic. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to sharing some of that with you. But again, it's up to the wife whether she wants to share that or not. As again, this weekend is all about us, right? This weekend is all about us. However, Monday onwards for the week, it's all about her. So, kind of want to highlight that one. Anyway, show you the kind of uh, supplementation area. That's my book. Basically, morning, nighttime pills. Uh, my book, everything set and ready. All my Train by JP health subs for morning and night. I actually prepared it all before we left. When we actually leave for Vegas for Olympia this year, um, obviously I've got clients competing in Olympia, Ria's doing it, hopefully Meg will do it one day. Um, again, I get everything ready in advance so we can get here and just chill and relax. We've got an air fryer, we've got a rice cooker, so we are pretty much all set in terms of food. That's next meals, you'll get to see them in a bit. Uh, anyway, let's go into my second favorite part, which is, the dining area. That's a little whatever it is. Utility room. It's James' bedroom. Dining yeah. area, beautiful. Look at this. Obviously, this is my seat. Obviously. Just want to make that pretty clear. My seat. Make seat. Let's go upstairs. So, moving along the hallway, quite a long hallway, just getting my steps in. Can't get too many in though, otherwise, you know, fatigue. This is uh, actually Jamie's bedroom for one of his legs. So, one of his legs will be in here. Second leg will actually be in here. Now, this is where Carl is stopping. And let me tell you, if you know about Carl, you know he has slept in some terrible places. Um, Carl used to be a soldier. 
you don't tell many people but he actually told me on what he actually slept on and let me tell you this is luxury this is actual luxury for him so he's actually been sleeping a sofa as as well and i kid you not he was out like this i'm waking him up every morning so he sleeps well and hopefully sleep very very well on this tonight he's definitely putting the work in anyway this is the washington room where carlos is stopping fun fact when i first met carl i thought his name was carlos mm. so he kind of stuck and i still call him carlos now kennedy room this is going to be jamie's room the little balcony look at this that balcony's decent. how much are we betting that he actually eats this chocolate chip orange crunchy biscuit fins i will I'm, i can bet him when he'll eat that look at this it's actually banging i know i wish i chose this room now no you can't you can always move this boom anyway i'm not get out there and then we have katie's room no that's meg's room actually okay if anything she'll be stopping in the single bed this is meg's at the end though this is uh the bath that i shall enter soon yep i'll be entering the bath soon obama suite the meg suite Let's go. Look at this. Little beauty. She's even got a little bathroom in here, look. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Now, the final, and the most important part of showing you of the crib. Now, let me show you the exit. Oosh! Get out! So we've got JP ISO Pro made into paste for Her Highness. Snag. And that shall go over her last meal, which is cream of rice, dark chocolate, and banana. For me, as again, we're having reduced protein portions here, so that is it. That's all she wrote, and then I've got 150 grams of cream of rice getting warmed up with raisins and some dark chocolate and almond butter, and that will be the last meal with train by GP joining always early night in my quarters and then yeah start another day plan for tomorrow another plan for tomorrow wake pose wake weigh myself pose client check-ins clients will come in here busy busy day so it's going to be quite interesting if I'm totally honest. There's going to be a lot of people coming over. So, we'll see. It's going to be a very busy day. So, we shall see how it goes. But it's definitely not going to be a quiet one. I'll tell you that for now. It's, uh, it's not going to be stressful because, again, I kind of love what I do. So, it's not going to be a day where, you know, I'm feeling like I'm having to do all these different things at once because it's, it's not kind of, uh, it's not the way, but 
it's still going to be stressful enough. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes.